Joining us now, author, this book has been on the New York Times list for an eternity. It's week number, what, nine or ten. Number one bestseller, Unfreedom of the Press, the great one, Mark Levin. He also has the number one show on Fox on Sunday nights, Life, Liberty, Levin. I had to talk this man into doing radio. That is a fact. I made him do it. He didn't want to. He oh, was true. reluctant and resistant. Great one. Um, what I love about you is your brain more than anything else, and you are a great constitutional scholar. I worried about our republic after what I saw today more than I have at any point, and I've been worried for a while. You know, let me do a little summation here. As far as Robert Mueller goes, I'm of two minds for Robert Mueller. No, he was in no condition to testify, but on the other hand, he was in no condition to be a special counsel. And he should not have accepted the job, and Rod Rosenstein should never have offered him the job. The victim here is not Mueller. The victim here is the President of the United States and all the other people who are around him. Now, I want people to keep something in mind about this 448-page report. It is a prosecutor's brief. It was their best shot. There's no reply report by the president that was permitted. There's no contrary witnesses, no contrary documents, no contrary evidence, no cross-examinations, no challenges of any type. So this is a really Soviet-style process we're going through. And I want to thank the Democrats because they really revealed themselves as the clowns that they truly are. They've impeached themselves today and forevermore. If the Democrats were truly interested, Mr. Schiff, which you said over and over again, in overwhelming Russian involvement in our campaign, then why the hell didn't you call Barack Obama and Joe Biden to testify? Why the hell didn't you call Clapper and Brennan and Lynch and Comey and Hillary Clinton? They're in charge of our government. They're the ones who allowed the Russians to have overwhelming influence on our campaign. And they kept their mouths shut because they thought Hillary would win and they didn't want to taint their election. Where's Barack Obama today? He's on some ship in the Caribbean, I suppose. Where's Hillary Clinton? Where are any of them? Now, that's that. Now, I want to talk about obstruction of justice. These liberal Democrats who ran this operation are such incompetent boobs, they cited three criminal obstruction statutes that don't apply now that people have studied this. Moreover, what document exactly did the president withhold? None. What, what witness did the president prevent from testifying? Not one. What investigator or prosecutor did the president fire? Not one. What resources did the president withhold? Not one. No conspiracy, no obstruction. Now let's talk a little bit more about obstruction. I mentioned Mark, this on your show before. Mark, we've got about 45 seconds. Go ahead, sir. Well, it's too late then. Uh, yeah, no, let's no, talk no, about outside Mueller's purview. Everything's outside Mueller's purview. Outside, Hillary Clinton, the DNC, Fusion GPS, Christopher Steele, Russia's role in the Steele dossier, the FISA applications, McCabe's links, Stroh's leaks, Comey's leaks, McCabe's coup attempt, outside of the purview, Rosenstein's conflict of interest, FBI placing spies in the Trump campaign, Obama administration's unmasking of American citizens, the Obama administration's failure to stop the Russians, all outside the purview. But Manafort's taxes? Oh, we never heard the end of it. All right, I'm done, brother. Mark, um, there were only a couple of us that put our neck out in the beginning on this. You were one of them. Thank you. Great one. Mark Levin, Sunday night, number one show. Book number one. Everything's number one.